shooting a quick little video today on gooseneck coupler maintenance. We get this question a lot and uh, it's, it's really pretty simple. There's not a lot of maintenance on a gooseneck coupler, but there are a couple of things that you want to watch out for and make sure that you're paying attention to. So starting off, this is a basic 25K, 30K uh, round gooseneck coupler. The main things you wanna watch out for are your set bolts and then this pin here. So this pin goes through the coupler and for your different height adjustments. This pin is not necessarily, it's not really made to carry the load. It's more so just to kind of, for one, as a fail safe, and two, it uh, just helps you dictate your, your coupler height. The biggest importance is making sure that your set bolts are tight. A lot of guys will set them and then want to forget them and never touch them again. My opinion is, that it's one of those things that every now and then when you're doing pre-trip you want to get you a crescent wrench or and put on here and make sure that they are as tight as they can be now one thing you want to try and do is make sure to get all the weight off of the coupler to where that it's not in a bind one way or the other you want like i will find my height setting then unhook and this is this is my preference for the way that i set my set bolts i've had guys tell me oh that's not I don't think that's the way to do it. Well, this is my opinion on how we set the, the coupler height. You'll find it, then you'll take the trailer back off of the truck and then tighten your set bolts down. Because if you have, you know, the trailer hooked to the truck and it's on any kind of incline and it's got it in them, there's a little bit of play in between the insert and the outer tube. You can see that because this one's not tight. You want to make sure and get all of that out because if you don't, it'll prematurely start wearing on this pin so with the weight off the truck tighten these down get all that slack out of there and then lower the truck or the trailer back down onto the truck let's see <clears throat> looking for so same on you have this is the the goose the telus coupler which is our 40k coupler uh with that we've de developed alongside bulldog we use there bottom coupler head and then we developed the telus coupler from there same thing you want to make sure all of your set bolts you actually have more on this one because you have two different sets of adjustment so you want to make sure all your set bolts are tied then this is the bx1 coupler head has a grease cert right there so you want to make sure that that you keep it greased to where that it slides open and shut easily and there's one more let me uh let me find we have one more coupler and uh, we'll show you the square load leveling coupler as well. All right, so here we are, a square load leveler. A lot of the same applies uh, as far as how the hitch works, but this one, you actually have the handle on top that raises and lowers the, uh, the coupler so you don't have the through pin like we saw on the round one. But you'll want to, on this one, adjust, get your height just right. In my opinion, same story unhook and then set your set bolts to where it gets all the slack out of there then hook back up you do have a grease cert on top on this one that greases the um, adjustment mechanism inside so that is about it on gooseneck couplers and maintenance uh, let me know did i miss anything do you have any other pro tips drop them in the comments below and uh, we can all learn from each other we'll see you on the road